Hi everybody and welcome back. Now this is my first reading log about the book entitled The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime and this was written by Mark Haddon. And my friends, the first time I was able to hear about this book was a year ago when I was still in New York because this novel was turned into a play and it was shown on Broadway. But unfortunately, since the tickets during those times were still very expensive, I did not watch the play. And that's why when I saw this on the shelves of book sale, I immediately bought it, even though the price is still very high. I bought this, um, I think the price is 145 pesos. And if you know me, my friends, I'm a bit stingy in terms of my book purchases. So 145 is still very expensive for me. But still, I bought it and I'm so excited to read the book. And I'm gonna update you on my reading log number two upon finishing the first chapter. Hi everybody and welcome back. Now my friends, this is reading log number two of the book The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Now my friends, I think in reading log number one, I promised that I would give my insights after reading chapter one. But the problem is, my friends, the chapters in this novel are very, very short. That is why I decided to read along up until page number 60 before I give my reading log number 2. Now, what is the story about and what are my thoughts about it? Well, number 1, the story revolves around the main character, Christopher, who is a 15-year-old boy. And he witnessed, actually not witnessed, but he saw a dog killed one night in their particular place and my friends he has two aims in this particular novel the first one is to discover who killed the dog and number two to write a mystery novel out of it and i think my friends uh, mark haddon he would want us to believe that the writer of this book is actually christopher the 15 year old boy if my assumptions are right now, Mark Haddon, or should I say Christopher, the main character and supposedly the author of this book, um, he changed uh, the format of the novel, I think, by changing the chapter titles. Now, instead of numbering his chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he chose, my friends, to title his chapters using prime numbers now i am not that good in math but according to him in this book prime numbers are numbers that are not divisible by two three whatever i don't know that's why my friends he started with with chapter number two then followed by chapter three chapter five seven and so on and so forth so he used prime numbers also my friends in this book um the persona or the main character and the writer christopher um used illustrations which reminded me of antoine de saint exupery's novel the little prince although i have some problems with the illustrations because they are digitally made and i think if christopher is actually writing this novel I think it must it it would have been more effective if the images were actually drawn. Just my two cents. But anyway, the book is engaging and it is an easy read. I think if you have the whole day just for reading, you can finish the entire book in just one day. Now I'm gonna update you on reading log number three, and that is upon me finishing the entire thing. Hi everybody and welcome back. Now this is reading log number 3 for the novel The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time by Mark Haddon. And my friends, I was able to finish the entire novel and here are my thoughts about it. Now what I like about this novel is that number 1, it is engaging and number 2, it is an easy read. I think I mentioned these two things in my reading log number 2. And that's it. Actually my friends, I was able to finish reading this novel in just a day and a half uh, because I have chores, right? But if you would devote your time in just reading this book, I think it would only take you half a day. Yeah, And the experience is actually a breeze and it's good. Uh, I, I liked it. I enjoyed the book so much. But I have concerns like uh, 
Number one, I think this book was not written for me. And upon, expect, upon inspecting the book, the cover, and the back cover, I was able to read that uh, this book was the winner of the Book Trust Teenage Fiction Award. And that answered my question. Mark Haddon probably wrote this for his teenager readers. And as you may notice, my friends, I am not a teenager. I am far from being one. So maybe that's why I felt that this book is not really for me. And I got distracted once again by the illustrations. And I think I was able to mention this in my reading log number two as well. And uh, uh, yeah, because you know there are some illustrations which I think um, would have been better if they were drawn and not um, digitally printed because uh, the main character said that he drew it so my expectation is it must be drawn and not uh, digitally made for that matter and I think that is very much possible because you know Exupery did that in his The Little Prince since the prince was actually drawing it in the drawings or maybe no no the pilot when he was young when he was able to draw the boa constrictor you know things like that right so um if you were able to read the little prince by antoine de san exupery i think you will get my point and if not if you have not read it then by all means i suggest that you read it and then you would get what i mean and uh but that's it actually it it, it got a lot of good reviews from institutions like for example um it says here that it, it was stunningly good um says the independent and uh um, it says here supremely well written funny and oddly affecting by the Telegraph magazine and it says here brilliantly inventive not simply the most original novel I've read in years um, it is also one of the best okay so I think since these uh, <laughs> these institutions I think they know better than I do so you can take their word for it and give it a try and then read the novel and then let me know if you really liked it or just like me if you feel the same way so that's it so thank you for watching and uh, <laughs> enjoy reading <laughs>